hard to believe how something so simple, so light, can deliver such performance. That is exactly what Qubit 2 does. Qubit was a real revolution when we launched version 1 in 2006. We learned so much from the scientists. We listened to their suggestions and we brought them into version 2. With Qubit 2, you don't need to change yourself to fit the device. It fits you. Qubit 2 is simply the most specific and sensitive device amongst all nucleic acid and protein quantification devices. Much time, effort and research money is invested to obtain precious nucleic acid and protein samples. We developed Qubit 2 because we believe that knowing precisely and accurately the quantity of DNA, RNA or protein is so critical for the success of the downstream applications like sequencing, PCR, RT-PCR, transfection and immunoassays. The device provides trust and confidence, ensuring downstream applications don't suffer from inaccurate quantification. It's no surprise that these reagents and devices are now recommended by leading journals and institutions as the best for quantifying RNA or DNA in applications like qPCR, RT-PCR and sequencing. Qubit 2.0 specificity is due to the use of different fluorophores for DNA, RNA, single-stranded DNA and protein. UV quantification method simply cannot tell or confirm if what you have in the tube is RNA, DNA, nucleotide or a mix. Basic Qubit protocol is simple and shouldn't take more than two minutes. The first step is to prepare the working solution. Use 200 microliters of buffer for each tube. Use one microliter of dye for each tube. Because we have five tubes in our DNA quantification assays, we will need five microliters of dye and one milliliter of the buffer. Mix the dye and the buffer in 1.5 milliliter microtubes. Now we're ready to add the standards and the DNA sample. Use thin wall PCR tubes. For DNA quantification assay, we need two standards. The total volume in each tube should be 200 microliters. Add 190 microliters of working solution prepared previously to each tube. Add 10 microliters of the standard one in the first tube and 10 microliters of standard two in the second tube. For the DNA sample, we can use between 1 to 20 microliters of each DNA solution to an assay tube. In this case, we add 198 microliters of the working solution prepared previously in our three DNA tubes. In each of the three DNA tubes, we add 2 microliters of DNA sample and mix. We incubate the five tubes at room temperature for two minutes. We now have our two standards and three DNA samples. We're ready to measure them in the Qubit 2.0 fluorometer. On the home screen, you have a choice for DNA, RNA or protein quantification. Qubit 2.0 fluorometer has a touch screen. To choose DNA, just touch the appropriate area. You will have the choice between different ways to quantify DNA double-stranded DNA in high-sensitive mode, double-stranded DNA in broad-range mode, or single-stranded DNA. In our case, we will use the broad-range mode. Standard screen is automatically displayed. Insert standard number one in the sample chamber and press read. When the reading is done, you will be prompted to insert standard number two and press read. Qubit 2.0 fluorometer is very simple and intuitive. It will guide the user through all the measurement steps. The Qubit 2 is not just a new product, it's way more than that. And yet thousands and thousands of users will instantly know how to use it. Performance with simplicity, this is the very DNA of life technologies. Qubit fluorometric quantitation. Sensitive, specific, affordable, 
simply better than UV.